There's one element of the TikTok ban that just doesn't quite sit well with me, and it's the hypocrisy of it. Also, just by way of disclaimer, I'm not an objective source about this. I definitely have a conflict of interest because I definitely have a platform on this app, and so you should not necessarily trust me uh, compared to someone else. So with that out of the way, I have a master's degree in bioethics, which is a kind of applied ethics, and I specialize, I focused on, on AI ethics, technology ethics broadly construed. Zooming out a thousand mile high view, there have been disruptive technologies that have changed the political power structure of the world stage repeatedly throughout history. Guns and ships, and so the balance flips, and the printing press, and submarines, and nuclear missiles. We have witnessed, we do witness, and we will continue to witness technological advances changing the power structure of the world stage. It would be naive of us to think that artificial intelligence is not one of those things. There's a book about it. Selfishly, I don't want to leave my little recording box because it's very nice in here, but we're, we'll do it. Recording box where I do voiceovers. Office. Um, this one, uh, AI Superpowers by Kai Fu Lee, is specifically about how China is likely in a position to achieve AI supremacy. This book is, I mean, it's it's fine. I can't I, I can't recommend every single book to you that I read because you will be tired of me recommending books to you, and I'll lose credibility. Maybe I'll throw it in like a grab bag reading list in my bio, whatever. As someone who has worked in both Silicon Valley and Shenzhen, he is a, a actual authority on like why this China might be in a position to do this. Why am I bringing this up? Well, for two reasons. One, and mostly as an aside, I used to be a high school physics teacher. And um, one reason China might surpass us in terms of technological advancement is the U.S. doesn't invest shit in our education system. Like, zoom out and just think strategically. You don't get to AI superiority if you don't freaking educate your population. So, sorry, aside, not the point of this video at all, but just, like, think about it with your brain. <laughs> what? Put differently, banning TikTok is not going to do much to stop China from achieving AI superiority. But I said hypocrisy. What did I mean by that? A TikTok ban feels hypocritical for these reasons. We have witnessed large-scale tampering with our internal politics, not because of some external Chinese company, but because of freaking Facebook. The disinformation and misinformation that we have seen has radicalized our country in a way that we don't need China's help to make it worse. We gotta get our own house in order before we're worried about them. I know that there will be people who disagree with that particular take, but we have yet to hold the people who who caused January 6th accountable, and yet we're pointing fingers at China as if that's gonna help. This to say nothing of the literal hundreds of thousands of people who did not need to die during the pandemic, but did because of COVID disinformation that Zuckerberg made money from. I'm out of time. I want to talk about algorithmic radicalization, but subscribe or whatever.